Welcome again to Creative Suite TV. This week we have a very important episode because I know people are doing it tough out there and they can't afford lots of expensive things. So this week's all about getting free stuff from Adobe. That's right, free stuff! It's not every day you get free stuff, is it? So, it's all online. There's some terrific things on there. You're gonna be able to use word processing, creating presentations, sharing files, sharing your screen. Sharing your photos as well. Imagine being able to upload photos directly to a gallery from wherever you are, with your iPhone, with your Nokia, whatever it is, straight to photoshop.com. I really hope you enjoy this week's episode of Creative Suite TV. I'm certainly gonna have a whole lot of fun showing you all of this stuff because after all it's free. Log on in and enjoy the fun. See you in a minute. Let's start off this tutorial looking at free applications, free Adobe applications with Acrobat.com. Acrobat.com is a very useful site. Here is the URL for it on screen now. Acrobat.com, very useful. I use it all the time. Hugely uh, popular at Adobe. We use it all the time. We're going to start off with Buzzword. So Buzzword, the first tab here, when you get to Acrobat.com, it's a word processor. I must say, before you get into this, you have to create yourself an Adobe ID. Of course, it's free to do that as well. And that gives you an account. And then you get access to all of these free applications. Buzzword is the first one. I've got it open in a tab. These are all the documents that I've been uh, working on recently. I'm just going to open up a test document here. So we can sort these alphabetically or by author or when they were changed. Whole bunch of different ways of sorting of sorting them, excuse me. Let's just bring up this test document. It brings it up into an interface um, just like a word processor, it's sitting inside a browser here. I can select my text, I can change fonts, I can, you know, change the size there. I've got paragraph formatting controls. I can create bullets and numbered lists. I can even upload and insert images, tables, and add comments. So standard sort of word processor kind of stuff. The most important thing that you need to understand about this though, is that I can share it with multiple people so that we can all edit this document at the same time and then all my documents are stored up in the cloud. So I can make a change, I can share it, and then when I'm done, I can even export it down to my hard drive as a PDF, a Word document, rich text, or whatever else. Even an EPUB format for an ebook. So if I close this down, I'm gonna close this down, that takes me out here to all of the different documents that I've been working on obviously documents that I've been sharing with other people and it's a great way of working. Now, that's acrobat.com, that's buzzword. Now, Connect Now is great for sharing your screen with other people. We can create PDFs online as well. So this allows you to upload files and convert them into PDFs on acrobat.com. So it's a great way of being able to convert uh, to PDF files as well. While this is booting up, you'll notice across the top of the screen I've got some other components there. So we've got access to, you know, creating PDF or share my screen or even to be able to share files as well. All part of Acrobat.com. So here's the create PDF. So these are all my files. And if I want to make a PDF, I can drag them in here and convert it, or I can just browse from my computer and convert that to a PDF. So that's very easy to do. 
All of these things are available to me uh, online here, but there is also a desktop application um, which installs when you install CS4, but you can uh, see it here. Here it is, acrobat.com. It's a desktop application with links to each of those, and we can also use this to upload files um, as well. Okay, so that's that. As well as the ones listed on there, we also have this another free website. This is labs.adobe.com. Enables you to register for the new Acrobat.com presentations beta. So we have a presentation tool which enables you to create an online presentation, I guess. Here's one I'm opening up now that, I've, that has a number of different authors. Uh, I've been working with it on there. We can create slides. We can share slides across an entire team. It's just popping up now. You can see all the other authors along the bottom of the screen. These are people that I, that I work with. We've got images that we can load in there. We have master slides. Let me zoom in so you can have a look. Put captions, change the text, create lists, insert graphics and shapes and images. Another terrific application. Okay, last one that I need to show you is Photoshop. Com. So Photoshop.com enables you to upload a whole bunch of albums, okay, or photographs, upload them online. Here's some of my photos here. These are just recent ones that I've uploaded from a trip to the snow with the family. So not only can we upload the images here, we can rate them and, and do descriptions, we can edit them and decorate them, email them, and even link to them galleries of photos. And we put a flash gallery directly from photoshop.com onto our blog. When we go to edit them, we even have a handful of editing tools, much like, well, big Photoshop. We can use this to edit the file on here, change the color, do some cropping, and a few bits and pieces like that. Photoshop.com also has an air application which enables you to sync folders from your computer up to your photoshop.com albums so that's a very exciting thing so these are all the folders that are synced on my desktop and they sync up to photoshop.com also as well as that, uh, we're just going into the editing workspace. So there's the saturation over here. We can do red eye and change exposure and do some auto correcting, put some fill light, a few other bits and pieces like that. So all free, mind you. Last thing, if you're on the go um, and you need to upload from your mobile device, we can use this application here called Shozu. Okay, so we have some that's got automatically built in. There's a couple of uh, phones here that have got a, a specific um, application for Photoshop.com. If you can't use one of them, definitely go and use Shozu. Uh, click on Shozu and you'll be able to find an application for your phone there. And Shozu also have an application on the iPhone uh, app store for your iPhone as well, and you can upload directly to photoshop.com from there. They're terrific applications. I highly recommend you get in and start having a look at them. I love photoshop.com, it's my favorite. Thanks again for tuning in. My name's Mike McHugh, I'm gonna turn this into a, into a black and white. Yeah, now you're talking.